I've known probably known Tommy like, what? Wow, let me see. Uh, probably six years now. <laughs> Secrets from Rich, I let him know everything, you know. I talk to him probably every day, every other day, and uh, you know, I definitely trust him, he trusts me. Trust him with everything. The way it's, uh, you know, the way it's, uh, you know, playing out now, you know what I mean? Uh, I hardly make any decisions. I leave it all in his hand. Professionally, um, you know, I look out for, uh, you know, look out for Rich's career. I don't want to put him in the right fight to keep him as busy as possible. I love this man right here. I love this guy. This guy right here makes everything happen. I'm extremely proud of him. As I said, you know, I've known him since he day one that he walked into this gym and to see, you know, all he's accomplished in a, in a short period of time and, uh, and success that he had is uh, it's kind of rewarding to me as well, you know. At the end of the day, you know, I trust him with basically, you know, my life in there, you know, because I never second guess him. It's 11 o'clock at night, um, heading to work right now. I work 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. I work for Hilton Hotel. Been here for eight years, working the night shift. I get out of work at 7 a.m., usually dog tired, and uh, I go straight, straight to get my run out of the way. I'll bang out a three, four mile run, take a shower, go straight to sleep. A majority of fighters do work. I know Rich does, you know, similar thing. He's been working at an auto parts store for a few years now, and uh, Opposite schedule works about eight to five or so, but uh, you know he puts in the same hours, forty plus a week that I do. Most fighters, you know, most of us, I would say ninety percent of us, you know, we work, we box, and you know, we don't have the luxury of uh, of doing it full time, as in just training and not worrying about work. But uh, I do like my job a lot, and uh, you know, so I use my mind at work and my body at the gym. We've been real good friends since like two thousand. I would say. I, mean, I don't even know, but seven years back, yeah. Mm -hmm. Little did I know, he had more confidence in me sometimes than, uh, than I do with myself sometimes, but you know. Richie, push him off and jab. One, two, one, two, one, two. There you go. I get more nervous when he fights than, he, than you know, when I fight, you know, because, you know, you can't, you don't have control of what's going on when he's fighting. It's it's a lot harder to watch somebody, especially when you care about him, you know what I mean, to, to watch him do all that stuff and, and and not be able to do anything yourself because you want to jump in there and, you know, you know, it's a lot harder from the outside than it is from, you know, being in there. Me and Rich, since, uh, since I met him, I probably sparred out off the top of my head a thousand rounds with me, so, like, I mean, uh, you know, we help each other out big time, whether Rich is in shape or not in shape. If I need him to come to the gym and give me 10 straight rounds, he'll come to the gym and give me 10 straight rounds, and uh, vice versa. And I won't do that for anybody but Rich. If you had to guess, how many rounds have you sparred with him? Probably the thousands, I would say. <laughs> you know, if I had to put a number, uh, like 1,500, somewhere in that ballpark. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, it's gotten heated a few times. Um, you know, we, you know, we spar somebody as often. Uh, we spar many rounds. First, me and Richard spar. A lot of them mirror each other. A lot of the spar sessions look the same because uh, we know each other so well. And uh, and it always ends up getting heated, even on days that uh, me and Rich are supposed to be working light. If somebody lands something hard, and then you know, and then we start going at it. And uh, yeah, we've been heated before, hit each other after a bell before, things of that nature. Um, I know I've gotten pissed off a couple of times, but the second, you know, the sparring session's over, you know, that's it. Sometimes he gets the better of me, sometimes I get the better of him. It's, it's, you know, it's just the way the day goes, you know what I mean? But uh, I've never, you know, I don't know if he's ever got mad at me, but I've never got mad at him, though. How many, uh, how many times a day you talk to him? <laughs> it's actually funny, my, uh, my fiance, uh, breaks my shoes back. She's like, you guys are on the phone more than me and you are on the phone. And I was like, yeah, well, you know. Spit out, Rich. Spit out. Spit out of there. I talk to Rich on a regular basis. Um, every day I see him in the gym every day. We talk on the phone at night a lot. I probably talk to him more than his own girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> so in a sense, although it's not a team sport, um, I feel as if I definitely contribute a lot. And, uh, and you know, when he wins, it's fulfilling to me as well.